Hi, this is Claims. I work for IT Academy in. In this video, I'm going to present you the concept of creating custom groups and custom actions. To explain you this, let me take you to my SharePoint site. And uh, when you look at a SharePoint site, there are plenty of custom actions and uh, plenty of custom groups already that are that are available for you. In fact, when you look into the site actions menu, so Microsoft guys have had it, uh, lots of actions here. And also when you click on site settings, uh, you can see they have created plenty of groups for us already. So reporting services is a group and um, these three options are the various actions in that group. So what is my objective in this demonstration is I want to create my own custom group called as IT Academy Courses and within that custom group I would like to have links for these three custom lists that I already have in place. So if you see in my um, site I have a SharePoint Courses and that has got um, a couple of records in it and ASP.NET has got a couple of records and MVC Courses list has got a couple of records. Also please be uh, pay please pay attention to the URL of the lists. It's slash list slash MVC courses and then again ASP.NET courses and then again SharePoint courses. We need that URL knowledge is because and the site settings, the moment I click on site settings, I would like to see IT Academy courses and then I would like to see these three options and when I click on those links it should actually take me to the records uh, to the to that list page so to get this done let's go back to VS 2010 and then try to create a new project it's an again an empty SharePoint project I'm going to call this as custom action demo and I say okay I'm going to deploy this as a form solution to my site collection and then once I come to the Solution Explorer, the first thing that I would like to do, I would like to have uh, an element.xml file. So I'm trying to add a new item. I'm going to select an empty element and I'll call this as my custom groups and I say OK. When you add an elements.xml file, I mean an, an, an empty element, basically it has created a folder for me my custom groups and within that I have elements.xml and also it has created for me a feature and when I double click on my feature one you can see this feature one is actually speaking to this um, elements.xml file. Of course I can change this name to a better name and uh, you can also notice the scope of this feature is actually web let it be like that and simply uh, save this and I'm also going to rename the feature one name to the custom actions custom action demo feature so now I'm going to implement this functionality by using the camel scripting that's called as collaborative application markup language in fact it's called as executable XML uh, so uh, where the code looks pretty much like XML but this is an executable XML code. So first of all, I need to create a custom action group and I call my custom action group with some name. I'll call this as uh, custom group underscore IT Academy courses. That's the ID of that. And location is obviously very important. So where would you like to have this? I would like to have this in under Microsoft.SharePoint site setting this is a reserved word and you need to be careful with the uh, spellings and the case uh, also the casing you can see here s p s s like this next to location i need to also specify the sequence so generally we specify a higher value so that it avoids any conflicts and then we specify some title i call this as it academy courses and also you can specify and um, image URL so in my case the image URL I can use an existing one from my SharePoint high folder 
So under layout and uh, images, I will use menu list settings dot gif file. So obviously this file you can very well see in the SharePoint um, high folder. So now you can see you have a custom action group. Now inside this custom action group, I would like to have a couple of options. So first thing I'm going for a custom action and the ID, I call this as uh, something like say custom actions uh, SharePoint coaches. And next to ID, I have a very important stuff called as the group ID. So I'll type here the group ID equal to this name. Next to the group name, obviously, where would you like to have this? The location is going to be the same stuff, Microsoft.SharePoint.Site Settings. It's okay. And next to location, we need to specify the sequence. In my case, I'm going to show it as zero. And what's the title we would like to have? Something like, say, SharePoint Courses. And yes, we can provide some meaningful description to this as well. So I'll call this as SharePoint Courses for this. Now, when I click on this um, custom action, where should I go? I need to specify an URL action. So I will say the URL is going to be slash list slash SharePoint Courses. And finally, we have to end this custom action. So this is the first custom action in this group now. For me, it's just to um, uh, copy paste now. So I will just copy this part and I'll paste it for the ASP.NET coaches and also for the MVC coaches. So let me change this custom action ID to something like say ASP.NET and also I'll change the title to ASP.NET and the description can be ASP.NET and for the last one uh, we can have this as MVC. So this is ASP.NET courses and um, whereas for the second one we will actually okay this one it could be MVC And the description can also be MVC courses. And this is very important, the exact list URL, MVC courses. Perfect. So you can see now I've got one custom group and then I've got uh, three different uh, custom actions. Everything is nice. So it's time that uh, we can test our code now. So I'm actually going to save this and um, build a solution and then we're going to deploy this solution and you know ours is a site level feature so if I can come back to my SharePoint site and um, if I can take you to my site settings and then if I click on manage site features can you see custom action demo feature is what I have actually created uh, the name of the feature is the custom action demo underscore feature so our feature has automatically been activated. You know that why? Because uh, we have left the configuration as default of the deployment. So obviously when I go to the site settings now, and now you can see interestingly, I've got a new custom group called as IT Academy Courses. And below to that, I have ASP.NET Courses, MVC Courses, and SharePoint Courses. Obviously when I click on that, that's the URL action that I have given is actually getting into place. So if I can come back to the site settings one more time and if I click on MVC courses, yes, everything is cool. So this is how we can actually create our own custom groups and those groups can have our own custom actions. At times this is really very handy because we may not be interested in showing the lists on the quick launch suppose I, I don't want my list to be shown on the quick launch and I want those options only to be enabled or only to be shown uh, in the form of custom groups and custom actions then this process is really useful 
so that's about custom groups and custom actions so thanks for watching and if you wish to buy the full length videos of SharePoint 2010 please visit itacademy.in and we will be able to help you on that thanks for watching enjoy your day and bye bye guys